What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we opened up, well, the Whirlpool Galaxy. We made it appear after doing several side quests in Sand City. And in this episode, it's time to make this thing spin. I'm trying to remember, is it this way? Yes, it is this way. I want it to, I want it to spin. I think you're onto something. Maybe we're supposed to blow that star Whirlpool round and round. Try it again, Ami. Keep using that wind power of yours. You got it. So make sure you blow it this direction only. And don't try using, like, like whirlwind or anything because that ain't gonna do crap for you and holy crap those stars are spinning out of control uh, the people in those galaxies as well I mean they're probably dead now after doing that look the whirlpool entrance to the dragon palace the whirlpool galaxy is bringing it to the surface okay I mean it's about time we got on down to that dragon palace let's go teach those dragonians a lesson they're gonna pay for not they're not gonna pay for not keeping that water dragon on the leash excuse you that's not very nice I mean granted the I mean, sometimes the dogs can escape of their own accord. You can't just always blame the owners. I mean, sometimes the dogs are... I mean, like, what if it's like a freaking pit bull or something? Granted, pit bulls aren't really as vicious as people give them credit for, but still, also, I have never actually been back here. I didn't even know you could walk back here. Still, you need to get chill out. You see, Oh my gosh, those galaxies are spinning out of control. That is just so, so frightening. We are going to want to go and find Orca really quickly, though. Because... We could only get into the uh, whirlpool with his help. So if, I mean, if we try to do it ourselves, it's going to basically count as like falling off of cliffs, etc., etc., taking an entire unit of solar energy away, and plop us on the shoreline. Hello, treasure. Let me dig you up first. See treasure? I must grab it. It is the dog way. Bullhorn acquired. All right. So, orca buddy, I need to talk to you. Actually, okay, never mind. Let's hop on in. Missed. Let's try it again. Uh, that works, I guess. So you gave me the prompt, at least. So, let's avoid the water dragon and head over to the whirlpool. Which is over in this direction. So keep going, and now you can actually see the whirlpool swirling. Come on, water dragon, try to get me. Come on. Think you're good? You can't. Orca's better than you. Down we go. Now this area is absolutely gorgeous. Here it is, guys, the Dragon Palace. Now, I will admit, this area, as beautiful it is, is also a bit lazy. This area is an entire reskin of Sasa Sanctuary and the Sparrow Inn. Yeah. As you're going to notice coming up right here, this is the very first instance of ripping it off. Watch. Halt, you white beast. Yep! Totally. What business do you have in the Dragon Palace? Are you talking to us? The Dragonian Kingdom has no place for land dwellers. State your name. Who do you think you are talking to us like that? Besides, you're the ones who let that water dragon run, run amok. I'm Isun, wandering artist and protector of Queen Himiko, ruler of Sand City. Now hurry up and go fetch your leader to Otohime for me. Chop, chop. I have no time for lowly servants. Himiko? Queen Himiko from Sand City? And that white must, white beast must be. Hey, what are you two babbling about? You gonna go get out though he may or not? Whoa. This way, oh beast of white. Her royal highness will receive you in the throne room. And, of course, Isun gets flat out ignored once again. Ha. <laughs> Silly Isun. So, let's power slash our way through these. And open them up and get the treasures inside. Because every treasure is mine. And I... Expect that I expect to be given everything Everything should be given to me on a silver platter and if I have to headbutt it so be it But I will be given something because I want money and I am greedy into the palace we go So yeah Total reskin that's even an elevator over there. Yep. 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 Total reskin, but hey it has a couple unique things and it is gorgeous So I'll let it slide just this once I'm honestly not the hugest fan of uh, the Dragon Palace because of the fact that it's a reskin, plus there's not too much to it, really. Although I think this is weird. We're underwater, and then there's a divine spring underwater, and holy slowdown when you look at that, and then there's suddenly boars down here. That's not weird at all. I don't know, it's, it's very strange. We get 45 praise from those guys, which is awesome. 
And we also have some clovers we can dig up. So let's do that. And there's also treasures to be had in here as well. So we're going to want to get all those. And let's see. Power slashing through these. And one of them is a stray bead as well as Kutani Pottery. The second best selling item in the entire game. And in this one, we have a godly charm. So awesome, awesome divine spring here. Make sure you go down, hit, go down this way. This is definitely the one thing you're gonna. This is probably the most important non-story related thing here in the Dragon Palace. So, actually, that's not true. There is one other thing that's also incredibly important that we will be getting into soon enough. Probably in this episode, actually. So, uh, don't go back down. Um, gonna want to head up this way and I could go exploring around but there's actually nothing really I mean okay that's a lie I believe there is a treasure in this room over here so let's head in here and Dragon Palace is actually run by women um, oh this is the wrong room too this is actually I believe a yeah she just is a merchant but she has like a unique name to it but the other one is this is kind of funny the Dragon Palace is actually almost exclusively run by women as they're kind of like they're like mermaids kind of thing that's that's totally what they are but in here this is where they keep the men. <laughs> Cracks me up. Actually, no, wait, I'm wrong. Never mind. That's right. This isn't where they keep the men. They keep them in a different area. These are all just women. They're just it's where they keep the big woman. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, all the big women are in here for whatever reason. I don't know. I, that, that seems a little off-putting. It's just like, oh, they're all out there and they're all beautiful, and then they just throw them. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the bigger women are being better at being diplomats or something. I. I I guess that's just how their society works. I'm not going to question it. You know, do we, what do we? Is this what we need? Is this what we need? Is this what? We, is, I'm not going to be all you know going into like cultural appropriation and stuff like that with the dra with dragonians, a fictional race, please. <laughs> now this this room is actually kind of cool. I love these like floating balls of light that like move every single time you try to bump into one of them. It's actually it's actually a really nice touch. Like this area is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Okay, welcome both of you. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. You are in the kingdom of the Dragonians now. I could care less who or what you are. All I'm interested in is that lady sitting on her rump over there. Her nice rump. Oh, sorry. That's your leader, right? Well, we have some choice words for her. Yes, it is I, Otohime. Ruler of the Dragon Palace and leader of the Dragonians. E soon? E soon? E soon? E soon! No! Er, uh, um, <laughs> anyway, we wanted to ask you something. You know that water dragon that's been running amok lately? It's under your control, right? Well, why do you keep that thing on a leash? And what's with sending your emissary to come get us? Are you really that desperate? The Dragonians are prepared to do whatever is necessary. Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. What the? You know about Ami? The water dragon is our guardian deity and protector of the seas. It kept the peace by pacifying chaos wherever it reared its head. Well, yeah, I mean, anything looks at it. Like, oh, I'm not doing anything wrong. Don't, don't pay any mind to me. But that all changed just one month ago. Oni Island, the dark place of le ancient legend, suddenly appeared. Evil beings swarmed into the sea and laid siege to the Dragon Palace. We mustered our forces to battle, but the enemy was too strong. Most of our realm fell into the hands of the forces of darkness. And that would be where all the men went. <laughs> it was then that the Water Dragon appeared, with overwhelming strength that routed the enemy's forces. But the enemy's leader, the Dark Lord, had unimaginable powers. The Water Dragon nearly fell in the face of his onslaught. So grave were his wounds that he flew into an uncontrollable rage. The dark forces then pulled back from the sea, leaving behind this, these chaotic waters plagued by the rampaging dragon. So you're saying that control of the water dragon? We never had control of the water dragon. It is our guardian deity. But its madness now endangers us as much as anyone else. You've got to be kidding me! The water dragon is supposed to break the barrier on Oni Island. What hope do we have of attacking the enemy if it won't help us? Indeed, there is little hope left. It appears that all has gone as the Dark Lord planned. But there's more! Yes, I would like to listen to her once more. The water dragon is our guardian deity and protector of the seas. He kept the peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get that. Otohime, you don't need to tell us this all again. You don't need to tell us all this again. You don't need to tell us all this again. You don't need to. I hate that this is actually required for her to tell you all this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. They're gonna. I just said no! Uh, okay, hold on. At least I can skip that. No. 
Bah, we don't need to hear all that stuff again. We can't break that barrier on Oily Island without the Water Dragon. Himiko prayed so long and hard to locate that dang island, and now we can't even get on it. Come on, Ami, you're a god, ain't ya? Don't you have some secret weapon hidden up your sleeve? Please wait. It's true we cannot control the Water Dragon. However, there is still a way to harness its power. There is? Now why didn't you just say so? Exactly. It is a deed of last resort and fraught with grave danger. Alas, it is beyond our power. That is why we summoned you, Amaterasu. You probably want us to tie a leash around the dragon, right? Well, we're not going to do anything crazy like that. It's not like we couldn't pull it off or anything, right, Ami? I mean, Orca would probably help us out, right? This deed of last resort is as follows. You must retrieve the dragon orb. Dragon orb? What's that? So you're saying we can't just forget about the um, and go hunt for the dragon orb thing? Sounds like a piece of cake. I mean, we're treasure hunting bros. We already know the location of the dragon orb. It lies in the belly of the water dragon. You must enter the water dragon's body. Yeah, you soon. My thoughts exactly. Come again? The dragon orb is the essence of the water dragon's power. With its with it in my possession, I could easily break through the barrier that protects Oni Island. Will you enter the water dragon through its gaping jaws and retrieve the dragon orb that lies deep in its belly? With it, I could break the barrier that protects Oni Island. Now wait just a second, lady. Go get some orb from the water dragon's stomach. Are you nuts? That is the only way left to break the barrier on Oni Island. Uh, Oh, slow down there, sister. I make a habit of never saying no to a pretty face, but if my boss here says no, there ain't much I can do. Well, boss, we gonna help this chick or what? Help out the Hime. Oh, I suppose we don't really have a choice. Bummer. Well, the boss is out. Huh? But Ami! Oh, great, Amaterasu. Your compassion is truly as deep as the sea, and you are never quick to and you are ever quick to decide. This amulet will allow you to enter the water dragon's garden. And we've obtained the shell amulet. Water dragon's garden? That is correct. The water dragon makes its lair in the garden here at our palace. Here at this palace? The thing lives here? It does, but it will not attack us as long as we leave it be. I doubt we would come out alive if we entered its lair. But I truly believe that the Ama that Amaterasu can retrieve the dragon orb. I shall pray for your safe return. Wow! Well, we just kind of got that thrust upon us. Look at that mess we're in now. Why are you always so eager to please? Well, it is kind of the ultimate goal of a dog, isn't it? Anyway, ah, oh, forget it. Let's go get that barrier-breaking orb. The Water Dragon's Gardener should be around here somewhere. Yeah, I know exactly where it is, but we're not going to go into that garden just yet. We have another thing that we're going to be doing this episode, and saving... Oh, excuse me, saving that for the next episode. So, I'm actually going to head down this hallway. Oh, you got a shell amulet, so you have permission to... Uh, you may forgive my rudeness, you may pass. And into... It looks like we're going to heaven. To the golden white light. No. So here we actually have a bunch of dancers. Spring up spring. Lulu, spring up spring. Excuse me? Is it just me or are the others singing something different? The water dragon's causing havoc now that it's settled in this palace. It stirs so loud and every time it stirs there's an earthquake. I don't know if that's why, but our swirly whirly springs dried up. Us dance troop girls have been ordered to do a water dance, but this dance wouldn't get any spring flowing again. No, I say we need to smash through the rock under the spring. If we hit water, that would get the spring going again. At least someone would help and dig a hole where the spring was. Okay, uh, sure, I can do that. Oh, why are you digging this dried up spring, doggy? Hoping to smash the rock under the spring to find water, are you? You must have a good nose on you. That was my plan, too. Come on, then, doggy, help me dig down under the spring. And yes, this is, but thankfully, the last digging mini game in all of Okami. We have none others to do after this one is done. Now this is by and far the most interesting one, but at the same time it's also probably the easiest. So watch this. Oh there, she's on the other side. What? The, why are we over here? Okay, that's a big time limit. Well, guess what? <laughs> we have to go up to the top and meet her. Yeah, that's right. Now thankfully they don't put her in a place where she can like run into spikes or something and like like over and over while you're trying to get to the top. That would be kind of a dick move. No, 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 no. You just have to make your way up to the top and reach her and then bring her back down. It's really not all that bad. It seems very daunting, I suppose, but it's really not the worst thing in the world. Okay, so... And by the way, that's another thing about Double Cherry Bomb is if you use it... Can I get this to work? If you use Double Cherry Bomb, you can actually use the um, second Cherry Bomb if, they, if it touches the first one to make it explode faster. So that is one good thing about... Double cherry bomb. Let's keep working our way up. Getting there. Keep hitting that. Try not to touch the spikes on the way up. Okay. Oh, no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Okay. Here we go. Go through that. 
And now, let's drop a cherry bomb in here somewhere. There we go. Working our way up. Let's keep going. We're getting there. No, 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 no. Cherry bomb. You can't just ditch like that. Stop. Cherry bomb. No. What the? Okay. Get it together. Here we go. Let's make our way through this. Let's bloom this for a little bit of a time bonus. Sure, why not? I'll take it. Gladly. Okay, now... Let's actually see if we can cherry bomb. <sighs> Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. Thank you. That was bad. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm actually playing pretty poorly. Not that I'm actually worried on time limit. I just want to get this done. Like, this is a very, very easy easy digging mini game. It's not... Everyone's like, oh, it's the worst ever because... But then, again, who has really failed this on their first try? If you have, please... <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe, and go cry for an hour because that is, like, one of the hardest things to do. This one, you actually have to cherry bomb your way th through. Let's put another one up there. Make it explode faster? No? Okay. There we go. Almost there. Cherry bomb it, or power slashing through. And look, we are at the top now. We have all this time to get her to the bottom, which, I mean, given the time that it took us to get to the top, I'm assuming getting to the bottom is going to be even easier. So I wouldn't even worry for a second, especially with uh, the golden ink pot. Like, this really is, like, the easiest. This is, this is easy, okay? It's not hard. And if you have a problem with it, I'm sorry. It's just a little bit tedious and time-consuming, and it's different. But hard? No. All right, almost there. Just keep going. Still almost there. Getting across, that's going to be difficult without getting hit. Okay, here. And blow you across. I'm actually doing pretty well right now. Not going to lie. And we've done it. So look at that. Not even a hard digging minigame. And anyone who says it is, you can shut up. All right. With how many seconds to spare? What was that? Two minutes and 40 seconds? Yeah, that's what I thought. And even though I was screwing up for a little bit back there. Now this is actually something that, although it's not required, it's something you're going to want to do, especially for 100%, and it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. Smash right through that rock, and look at that. The spring's gushing again. Uh, the spring's running again, but... But what? This isn't good. The Swirly Woolly is missing. So the world's gone. Exactly. It's the Swirly Woolly that's kept us all in good health up to now. And by the way, that trophy is for completing all the digging mini games. Without it, we'd lose the will to live. Anyway, anyway, enough. Just whining about it's not going to help. If when we got to summon the Swirly Woolly back again, we'll transfer our passion and enthusiasm into the spring. Bring around it as fast as we possibly can. And here they go. And she runs so much faster than the other others. She's freaking hilarious, actually. I think she's a hilarious character. So what we need to do is, I believe, we want to make it swirl this way. Yep. Indeed, I was correct. Now this is actually a god power upgrade. Yes, Nuregami. Ah, Matarasu, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. I am here to give you one of the most useful fast travel t uh, powers ever. This right here. What is it called? I've harnessed the fervent energy of those in need to create the power called Fountain. That's what it's called. This one's actually called Fountain, even though I always call the other one frickin' Fountain. Fountain completely negates the need for mermaid coins. You don't need them anymore. So every time you come across one of these, you could just straight up fast travel by drawing a swirl in the water. Or in the mermaid spring. It's super easy. And she's going to give us this. Brute Strange is the only answer in the end. From now on, the Dragon Palace's dance trip's motto is Muscle. Oh, well, good luck with that. Boy, I mean, that's one mean brush you wield. But you could summon one of those. Yep, 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 yep. We know, Isu. That's what I just said. So she gives us 20 praise. Oh, didn't mean to do that. She gives us this scroll, which that's not the cool thing, really. I mean, I don't really care about that. I wasn't really honestly all surprised about what's going to be inside. But there is one really important thing to be gotten in this room. So I'm going to grab that. But as I am on my way, or I am working... Can I get up? Thank you. As I am working on grabbing that, I would just like to say, ladies and gentlemen, that that is actually going to be it 
for this episode of Let's Play Okami. In the next one, we are heading into the Water Dragon's Garden. And that is the thing we wanted to collect right there. But we'll be heading into the Water Dragon's Garden and entering the very bowels of the Water Dragon himself. See you guys then.